Welcome back to Pymol Biomolecules. Till now, we have completed the pharmaceutical jurisprudence and pharmacognosy. Now, we are going to start the pharmacology. In the pharmacology, today we are going to see about drugs acting on GIT and toxicology. Okay. We are going to see the MCQs on the topics uh, Unit 7, A and E. In the general studies, in the general studies, Indian economy, social sector problems, population education, health, employment and poverty and in the aptitude and the mental ability test area and volume okay so let's go to the test this test contains three part first part is the pharmacy part so first we are going to see the compared to h2 blockers omeprazole for the following faster relief of ulcer pain and faster healing okay faster healing of duodenal ulcer higher efficacy in healing the reflux esophagitis and so these three so the answer is all of the above which drug blocks basal and stimulated gastric acid secretion without affecting cholinergic, histaminergic or gastrin receptor? So, omeprazole. The omeprazole drug blocks the basal and stimulated gastric acid secretion without affecting the cholinergic, histaminergic and gastrin receptor. Okay. Acid neutralizing capacity of antacid depends on equivalent weight of the antacid, the rate at which the antacid react with the HCl. So, the answer is both A and C and it does not depend on the pH of uh, one normal solution of the antacid okay antacid administered concurrently reduce the efficacy of the following drugs okay so the answer is answer is sucralfate okay a colloidal bismuth b sucralfate c in the pyranzipin so the answer is sucralfate choose the correct statement about colloidal bismuth substrate it has anti h pylori activity so what are the drugs which has the anti h pylori activity means Clarithromycin, Amoxicillin, Tinidazole. Next, if the patient ingested which poison and he is conscious, the emetic permissible to use is ferrous sulfate. If the patient ingested ferrous sulfate poison and he is conscious, the emetic is permissible to use. So the answer is ferrous sulfate. The most dependable emetic used to expel ingested poison is the intramuscular apomorphine. Okay. Chlorpromazine and its congeners suppress the vomiting of the following etiologies except motion sickness which prokinetic drug produces extra pyramidal side effect the answer is metoclopramide so what are the prokinetic drugs means metoclopramide cisapride domperidone these are all prokinetic drugs but metoclopramide is most effective in the anti-emetic efficacy Cisapride has the ventricular arrhythmia if used along with erythromycin or ketoconazole. Which anti-emetic drug selectively blocks the levodopa induced vomiting without blocking its anti-Parkinson effect? Domperidone. Which drug relieves gastroesophageal reflux by increasing the tone of lower esophageal sphincter and promote the gastric emptying? without affecting the acidity of the gastric content okay so increasing the lower esophageal sphincter tone and promote the gastric emptying without affecting the acidity of the gastric content metoclopramide and cisapride so the answer is both b and c the fastest symptomatic relief and highest healing rate in reflux esophagitis are obtained with proton pump inhibitors Cisapride enhances gastrointestinal motility by activating the serotonin 5-HT4 receptor. Which drug is used in the controlling cisplatin inducer vomiting? Cisplatin inducer vomiting means sondensetron. It is also used in the radiotherapy and post-operative vomiting. Okay. Granisetron is used as an antiemetic for the cancer chemotherapy. Which antiemetic drug that prevents the activation of emetogenic afferent in gut and their central relay in the CTG or NT solitarius but no effect on the gastric motility? This is also the answer is Ondansetron. Prolonged treatment with which drug can promote the dissolution of gallstones if the gallbladder is functional? Orso deoxycholic acid. Laxatives of all types exert the following action. Increase water content in the fecus. Which drug causes atonic and bluish pigmentation of the mucosa of the colon? The answer is Senna. Senna stimulates the intestinal motility 
independent of its action on the mucosal fluid dynamics which of the following statement is true about lactulose okay it is an osmotic laxative that produces soft but formed stools which purgative drug should not be taken at bed time magnesium sulfate concentration of sodium ions in the standard who oral rehydration solution is 90 millimoles per liter okay the unit is millimoles millimoles per liter apart from diarrhea ors can be used for burn cases and heat stroke so this both b and c what is the mechanism of opioid anti diarrheal drugs inhibit intestinal peristalsis opioid anti diarrheal drugs means inhibit the intestinal peristalsis antidote action of the sodium nitrite in the cyanide poisoning is chemical antagonism other antidote for cyanide poisoning are amyl nitrite and sodium thiosulfate which is the most important drug used in the treatment of organophosphate poisoning so organophosphate poisoning means atropin sulfate the most effective antidote for belladonna poisoning is physostigmine belladonna poison belladonna poisoning means physostigmine mechanism of n acetyl cysteine in acute paracetamol poisoning it replenishes the hepatic glutathione okay which in turn binds the toxic metabolite of the paracetamol so it replenishes the hepatic glutathione that is the mechanism of the n acetyl cysteine in the acute paracetamol poisoning which drug should not be used in the treatment of tricyclic antidepressant poisoning so should not be used okay the answer is all of the above quinidine atropine and digoxin should not be used in the treatment of tricyclic antidepressant antidote for morphine poisoning is naloxone which of the following is a ulcer healing agent carbinoxalone sodium okay so these both are cytoprotective drugs okay these both are cytoprotective drugs aptitant is used as anti emetic cyanosis and potential cyanide poisoning are possible with nitroprusside barbiturate poisoning includes all except babinski sign positive so barbiturate poisoning causes pupil constriction hypothermia and hypotension antidote for benzodiazepine poisoning is flumazenil dimercaprol is used in the heavy metal poisoning and desferoxam is used in the iron and iron salt poisoning digoxin immune fab this is fab okay digoxin immune fab is used in the digitoxin poisoning antidote for the opioid poisoning is the naloxone protamine use protamine is used in the heparin poisoning and vitamin k is used in the warfarin and coumarin anticoagulant poisoning esmolol is used in the theophylline or beta agonist poisoning the most effective anti motion sickness drugs are suitable for short brisk journey is hyoscin okay hyoscin and dicyclamine are the anticholinergic drugs in case of hill journey anti motion sickness drugs are best administered 1 hour before okay all of the following drugs act by the reducing the gastric acid secretion except sucralfate so sucralfate is a cytoprotective agent we have seen already which of the following stool softener which has no effect on the fat soluble vitamins docusate sodium which of the following statement is wrong about ors so the answer is none of the above okay which statement about albendazole is false does not undergo first pass metabolism so this is false about the albendazole and remaining are true about the albendazole absorption may be enhanced by administration with a fatty meal and it inhibits the microtubule polymerization and albendazole is eliminated in the bile tardive dyskinesia is major adverse effect of metoclopramide which of the following is not the indication of octreotide not the indication of the octreotide acute diarrhea is not the indication of octreotide so these are all the indication of the octreotide secretory diarrhea diarrhea due to vagotomy diarrhea due to short bowel syndrome which antacid is related to melt alkali syndrome calcium carbonate 
which act as it causes systemic phosphate depletion the answer is aluminum hydroxide what is the function of somatostatin inhibit histamine and gastrin releasing cells which agent does not increase secretion of gastric glands pepsin misoprostol is analog of prostaglandin e1 and prevents or limits the nsaid caused mucosal damage so the answer is both which statement is incorrect regarding the sucralfit it inhibits h2 receptors so this is incorrect regarding the sucralfit sucralfit is the cytoprotective agent misoprostol is the synthetic analog of pge1 we have seen in the previous question itself what is the side effect of misoprostol misoprostol is used in the nsaid induced gastric ulcer so what is the side effect of the misoprostol the answer is next which drug causes d2 antagonism and 5ht4 agonism the answer it is metoclopramide which drug antagonist apomorphine induces vomiting neuroleptics examples are chlorpromazine which drug is the nk1 receptor antagonist apripitant and phosapripitant drugs which promote gi transit and speed of the gastric emptying by enhancing the coordinated propulsive motility so the answer is prokinetic drugs kinetic means movement okay so that is muscle dystonia muscle dystonia is the side effect of which drug okay side effect of which drug prochlorperazine which of the following drug is not anticholinergic answer is domperidone because we have already seen hyoscine and disoclamine are the anticholinergic drugs so the answer is domperidone is not the anticholinergic which cells okay which is cells which is cells responsible for the secretion of hydrochloric acid parietal cells chief cells secrete the pepsinogen which gland is responsible for alkaline duodenal exocrine secretion branner's gland what is the main adverse effect of the carbinoxalone sodium the adverse effect is hypokalemia you can see the zollinger ellison syndrome in the zollinger ellison syndrome the drug of choice is the omeprazole carbinoxalone is the derivative of liquorice okay proton pump inhibitors like omeprazole and lansoprazole contain the following ring system benzimidazole okay aspirin poisoning includes the following symptoms except hypothermia okay when digoxin is used with omeprazole plasma levels of digoxin is decreased which of the following is the suitable for mercury poisoning dimercaprol the primary role of the sulfa salicin in the ulcerative colitis is maintenance of remission okay mesalazine coated 5 amino salicylic acid differs from the sulfa salicin in that both b and c it produces less adverse effect and it has no therapeutic effect in the rheumatoid arthritis stimulant purgative or contraindicated in the following spastic constipation which of the following purgative undergo enterohepatic circulation to produce prolonged action phenolphthalein all of the following agents stimulate the parietal cells except pge2 alginate is used to increase the viscosity and adhere to the mucus in the esophageal mucosa and to relieve the bloating and the flatulence so the answer is both b and c all the agents decrease the motility of the stomach except cisapride one of the following agent act as a anti emetic to antagonize the d2 receptor metoclopramide silarisoside is used as a rat poison antidote for warfare in overdose is vitamin k what is the antidote for pentosoza in overdose any of the above okay this can be used as the this all can be used as antidote for pentosoza in overdose which of the following is a tertiary amine dicyclamine so dicyclamine is the tertiary amine and remaining these three are the quaternary ammonium components okay 
so that's all we have seen the pharmacy part one next we are going to see the general studies the first population census in india was conducted in which year the answer is 1872 the largest linguistic group of india indo-aryan the concept of poverty line was first discussed by dada by Nehruji. what is mean by churning poor churning poor means move in and out of the poverty okay people who move in and out of the poverty is called a churning poor what is the example of chronic poor chronic poor means casual workers okay so these are all this is the example of chronic poor number of poor is estimated as proportion of people below the poverty line is called head count ratio proportion of people below the poverty line okay number of poor is estimated by the proportion of people below the poverty line is called head count ratio who collects the poverty data nsso national sample survey organization what is the example of self employment program scheme in the government of india self employment program scheme means pm rozgar yojana and mgn riga is started in 2005 mgn riga means unskilled manual work to work for minimum 100 days per year pm gram sadak yojana is related to infrastructure which scheme is used to improve the food and nutritional status of the poor midday meal scheme pm jandan yojana is started in which year 2014 this is the open bank account human capital is intangible tangible means physical capital what are the sources of human capital formation investment in education health information the answer is all of them producing more goods without generating employment is termed as jobless growth example of seasonal unemployment is agriculture india health infrastructure is of three tier system okay primary secondary and tertiary the number of live birth in a year per thousand population is termed as crude birth rate the number of people in the world increases faster than the food supply is termed by thomas malthus which is not a push factor in migration medical or educational facilities so that's all we have completed the part two now now we are going to see the part three that is aptitude and mental ability okay let's see the part three aptitude and mental ability so first question if the capacity of a cylindrical tank is 1848 cubic meter and the diameter of the base is 14 meter find the depth of the tank which is height okay so what is the formula for volume of the cylinder the formula for volume of the cylinder is pi r square h okay so this is the volume of the cylinder 1848 and pi value 22 by 7 r square 7 into 7 and h okay the diameter is given as 14 meter so i'm the so the radius is 7 meter so r square means 7 into 7 and the height of the cylinder is h so to find the h simplify the equation to get the answer 12 okay a solid sphere of radius 9 centimeter the radius of the sphere is 9 centimeter it is melted and cast into a shape of a solid cone of the same radius so the radius of the cone is 9 cm find the height of the cone okay so if the solid sphere is melted and cast into a shape of a solid cone the volume of both the shapes will be equal okay the formula for volume of the sphere is 4 by 3 pi r cube 4 by 3 22 by 7 into 9 cube and the volume of cone is 1 by 3 pi into r square h 1 by 3 22 by 7 into 9 square into h these two volumes are equal okay so we are equating this to find the value of h this is the height of the cone to simplify simplify this and get the answer as 36 meter a hemispherical bowl of radius 30 centimeter a hemispherical bowl of radius is 30 centimeter is filled up with the soap waste and it is converted to cylindrical soap cakes each of diameter 10 centimeter and height is 2 centimeter so how many cakes do we get the volume of hemisphere is 2 by 3 pi into r cube volume of sphere is 4 by 3 pi r cube and the volume of hemisphere is 2 by 3 pi r cube 
2 by 3 into 22 by 7 into 30 cube and the volume of cylinder we already know the formula for volume of cylinder 22 by 7 uh, that is pi r square h pi means 22 by 7 r square 5 into 5 h 2 centimeter diameter is 10 centimeter so the radius is 5 centimeter and the height we already know that is 2 centimeter here we are going to divide the volume of hemisphere by volume of the cylinder okay so first we take this one as a numerator and this part as the denominator and after cancelling we get 9000 into 25 because the pi 22 by 7 22 by 7 get cancelled and 3 cancelled with 30 so we get 10 and this 2 get cancelled with this 2 so remaining 30 into 30 into 10 it is 9000 and here remaining 5 into 5 that is 25 so the answer is 360 so we get 360 cylindrical soap cakes the ratio of radius of two sphere are 4 is to 7 then the ratio of their volumes so take the ratio of the volumes 4 by 3 pi r cube 4 by 3 pi r cube the radius is 4 x cube okay here the radius is 7 x cube since this is a ratio we get a common multiples of x okay so that's why we take 4x and 7x so it is in the form of cube okay so 4x cube that is 64x cube and 7x cube is 343x cube so the x cube on both sides get cancelled and the answer is 64 is to 343 okay find the area of semicircle of radius 5 centimeter so this is easy find the area of a circle of radius 5 cm the formula is pi r square 22 by 7 into 5 into 5 so divide that by 2 to get the area of the semicircle so this question is for you so work it out and uh, come at the answer for the next test in the pharmacology these two topics insulin and oral anti-diabetic drugs thyroid and anti-thyroidal drugs oral contraceptives Hormone replacement therapy, drugs acting on uterus, antihistaminic drugs, and drugs used in migraine. This is for the pharmacology. In the general studies, physics, okay, all the topics are from physics. And in the aptitude and mental ability, simplification, okay. So that's all. See you in the next week.